All right, time for more fun with some spare change. Today we're joined by Fox's own Sandra Smith and author of The You Plan, Mike Dr. Woody Woodward. All right, thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Yeah, we appreciate it. First up, occupying protesters, this is crazy, in <laughs> Seattle, raise money online just to throw it all away, literally. <laughs> The group was protesting Citizens United, the Supreme Court decision that corporations can make political donations. So to really make their point, they threw $5,000 at a hotel window. Just threw it out the window. There it goes. Look, there it goes. All right. 37 donors helped the group raise five grand, and they knew that it was going to literally be thrown away. No. <laughs> Would you donate money? Occupiers drive me crazy. Yeah, okay. They drive me totally crazy because they complain about not having access to money. So they get people well, to donate do. it, then they throw it away. Mm -hmm. And the big kicker in this is it was also a tax deduction for the donors. So this oh. is government incentivized throwing away of money. Wow. Kills me. I know. Maybe there were people down the street below getting their money back. Who knows? Or maybe they ran down and got it. I don't know. Well, what hopefully happened. they didn't I, I, cause traffic accidents for right. people jumping out of their cars. To, Always looking uh, after everyone's personal safety. That is Sandra Smith. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, I, you know, these safety people, Sandra. these people, as you're saying, have nev never gotten their act together, right? I mean, if they were to prove a point by politicians throwing away money, uh, Wall Street throwing away money, people abusing the system and money, they just did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just it seems crazy. It threw it right out the window. Really? I wish I was standing down below that window. That's <laughs> yeah, all I really. have to say. All right, oh. next story. This I love because you just can't make this kind of stuff up. A German student ambitiously <laughs> finished his degree a semester early at the School of Economics, Economics and Management in Essen, Germany. And now the school is suing him. That's right. They're suing him for, quote, income loss for almost $4,000. I mean, do you think there's any merit to this case? What do you think? This is crazy. Well, I have to tell you, it took me 11 and a half years to get all my degrees. So I have a huge amount of respect for this kid. Wow. And, and and you, were your parents paying for that the whole time? No. Were the occupiers paying for Part that the of whole it, time? Yeah, the occupiers definitely didn't pay no? for it. Okay. But here's one thing I'll tell you. You mentioned this because you said he went to the School of Economics and Management. <laughs> he applied those skills by finishing early, being efficient with his time, and right. saving money. And they're punishing him. Germans, of all people. I, yeah. I don't get it. No, I, I think they saw the economic loss they were taking and they right. managed their way into the courtroom in order to sue him and try and squeeze the money out of him. More power to him. I think we're going to see more of that stuff, seriously, with the cost of tuition going up. I mean, he was smart. He employed, like, other students, his friends, his buddies in similar classes to take notes, and they shared notes. I think it was brilliant, and there's, yeah. I don't see any legal ramifications. I mean, there. it's fantastic. That's economic time management right yes. there. He figured out how to get through it. You know, it, maybe if we made the student loan program a little bit smaller, kids would yeah. be more serious about getting out of school quicker. <laughs> we need to send him over here. Bring yeah. him over here. It'd be great. He could start a seminar, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Well, maybe we could all pay <laughs> off the rest of his tuition, ship him over here to teach everybody what to do. Yeah. I don't know. Well done. All right. Now, now on to the next story. You know when you throw your spare change in a jar, I mean, eventually people pick out the bigger, more useful coins, but it seems like the pennies, they kind of just sit there forever, you know, whatever. Who knows what happens to them? Well, one Massachusetts man finally put all those pennies to good use. He walked into a bank with more than 800 pounds of pennies and paid off the last mortgage payment on his house. It took him 35 years <laughs> to collect 62,000 pen 62, pennies. I mean, it's unbelievable. Could you ever stick with it for that long? I mean, it's that's a lot of penny collecting. Do you see how proud he was sitting next to yeah. the giant wagon of pennies to make his last payment? I have a bunch of buckets of pennies. Look at that. Coin star written all over him. So I'm waiting to unload those. But here's something that's interesting, because the bank might have gotten away with one on this. Uh-oh. Well, if you think about it, he's been saving for 35 years. Prior to 1982, uh, pennies were made of 95% copper. So those <laughs> pennies may actually I see be where going. more. <laughs> Then uh, she's a commodity trader. She knows itself. exactly right. what we're talking about. She already so. did the math. She knows exactly what it's right. worth. Yeah, done. Got it. Yeah. So I don't it's know. Great point. I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe they got away with it. What you know, I, I, first of all, I don't know where this change always comes from. You know, I go into my so I don't carry change in my pockets. Girls, no. I don't think we do. It no. comes out of the guy's pocket. I hate change. I what think do you, you have a purse to carry it in. Can, I got to put it in my pocket. I try just to use debit cards and credit cards. That yeah. way, no I, I think you lose money using cash because I never keep track of that change. That's what I'm saying. However, I am going to say that this man to. Save that much change over the course of that time, I think he probably ended up losing money. 
right? By not actually oh, having the money saving, in the bank. Losing money? Money? Oh, by not having the bank. I sure. think we should celebrate but, him because he's, you know, one yes. of the last people on earth to actually, you know, pay off, pay his, off house. his mortgage. <laughs> right, exactly. Well it's, done, yeah. But it's I, a big shocker. And I'm with you. I always pay with a credit card because I think change is the tax. Yes. You lose, change you lose change along the way, <laughs> you know, and, and you don't really use it again or it sits on the dresser. It's like a tax on every purchase you make. But see, congratulations. Sandra and I see eye to eye. Yeah, congratulations <laughs> to him paying off the house. Sandra Smith, Dr. Woody, thanks to both of you for joining us.